Wagwan, wagwan. Big up yourself. Yeah, man. Today, I'm getting ready to do a barbecue. Yeah, I'm have a big fish. I'm going to season that up as well. So, I'm preparing my stuff from the night before because my barbecue is tomorrow. So, guys, I'm going to get my chicken clean up. All that excess fat and all that that's not supposed to be there get that clean off i want to say a shout out to brune rub for my barbecue seasoning yeah turn out real good gonna go ahead and dab some barbecue seasoning on that gonna use some onion powder on my chicken all right have some mustard powder of course we're not leaving out the jamaican walkers with jerk seasoning i'm using the mild and i'm gonna put two tablespoons of that in my chicken yeah, and I got like about four pound of chicken right here. Yeah, man, so I'm gonna go in and start, you know, mix that up because you gotta mix that up and get it all set. I both use the fork to spike some oil in there, you know, just to make everything soak in. Yeah, man, and that good. We're gonna put that in the fridge for tomorrow and the next day. Let's go. Yeah, man, I'm about to head over to my friend's place. We're gonna have a barbecue today. Yeah, man. Bright and sunny day. Beautiful. Could never be a better day for some barbecue. So, guys, join me along the journey as we roll out. We're watching The Good Vibes TV. Yeah, man. Hey, you know, for your really good vibes, if you have some good vibes. To believe in yourself, so you got it in you. Spread the wings, defeat. Gravity me you. Woof, woof, woof. And my ceilings are low, cheaper than the price is cheap. Yeah, I'm always a represent anywhere I go, you know. Got my little Jamaican sticker. Yeah. So after about 35 minutes of driving, you don't know. Pull up. <laughs> yes, sir. Pull up at the barbecue spot. So the first thing I'm gonna go ahead and do guys, I never do anything to the fish, so I'm gonna go ahead and tar my fish out and you know start seasoning up my fish. Look at that. This is a parrot fish guys. Yeah, chicken already seasoned up already, so right now I'm just getting the fish ready. So this is a parrot fish anybody ever eat a parrot fish look at them teeth so i'm gonna cut up some vegetable you know because this fish i'm gonna stuff it with some vegetable and i'm also gonna put some vegetable around it you know what i mean so yeah so we cut up some cabbage of course sweet pepper always go good with things like that and brings up the color too so i'm using green and yellow bell pepper Got some onion and make sure you put your onion to bring up the taste. You know what I mean? Never go wrong with onion, guys. And some carrot. Give it a nice color. Plus them say carrot good for your eye. Sweet pepper. Sorry, sweet potato. Yeah. Drop a few pieces of that in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and mix up everything with my cabbage. And then start pour some powder seasoning on my fish. Yeah, so I make this sit one side. That looking fabulous. Yes, guys, parrot fish. Anybody ever eat parrot fish? Yeah, man. I'm gonna go ahead and dry that off. I don't want any excess water, any excess mice on there. Just the season going to work on this one. So I'm gonna dry that off inside out. Yes, guys. Yeah. Look at that. Nice and thick and fat and meaty I'm gonna go ahead and cut off these fins because we don't need these excess bones that we're not gonna heat and they're taking up space and they can hurt you, juke you and all that so yeah man we cut off them the quick quick fast fast 
yeah man cut off all of them we don't need this we're not gonna heat this so we don't need that taking up space eating up all my season and my vegetable now we don't need that yeah get out of there make sure you cut off the tail yeah then you have it neat and looking like that i'm gonna go ahead and put some cut in the side right here if the fish is too big that's what it do to make the season penetrate through the meat all right now look at that see how thick that fish is and look like a piece of chicken guys <laughs> yeah man so i put four cut on that side i'm gonna also put four cut on this side too So now I'm gonna go ahead and start my season. I get a bowl and my seafood seasoning. I'm gonna pour my seasoning in one. I got some garlic powder, adobo all purpose seasoning, good for fish and chicken. You know, got some salt, a little bit of black pepper. You know what I mean? Pour everything in one, then mix that up. So when I'm seasoning my fish, you know, I get an even amount of everything. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead bit by bit and you know sprinkle my fish and make sure to rub that on so I'm doing the Mr. Miyagi right here the wax on and the wax off all right and get a one slap too you know that's good for it <laughs> yeah man so look at that you want to make sure the season go inside yeah because it's so thick it's gonna hard for the season to penetrate just like that so yeah Cut some cut in the side and you know put some season in those corners and creases and take some time to do that too. It's not something where you just throw season it and say oh that's it no. You have to take time when you're doing something like this. Wax on, wax off, wax on, wax off, get our one slap. Make it know you rule, you run things. And season inside out too as much as possible you know where you can get the season in there you get it in there and then my leftover season i'm gonna go ahead and pour it on my vegetable so the vegetable have a nice season of taste you know what i mean yeah for the stuffing of my fish so i'm gonna go ahead and start you know stuff up the fish yeah put as much as you can put in there you know what i mean because that's gonna uh, when, it, when it's cooking it's gonna give you a nice you know vegetable taste so i got some strings because i always tie my fish to make sure nothing don't fall out and make sure it keep in one piece so i'm gonna go ahead and tie my fish with a piece of butcher card yeah so i probably give it like about four tire yeah yes guys so you know tie that up just to make sure you know stuff don't fall out and then we have it neat and fine like that you understand so it's ready for the file paper now it's time for the file paper process i use a piece of file paper and i go ahead and put some vegetable on the base of it yeah so that vegetable looks seasoned up and looking all ready I'm gonna go ahead and lie my fish in that bed of vegetable. Obviously, this file paper is too small. One file paper won't do the job. So, I'm gonna first make a cup or make a dish and then put one on top. So, yeah, make a dish where the fish lie in it and then put some vegetable on top and then put another piece of file paper on top. You never go wrong with that. Okay, and you, and you make sure you watch it because you don't wanna turn it the other side and then it leak out so you keep it on one side in this case right yes sir look at that that is ready so right now we're gonna go ahead and get the charcoal ready because yeah things ready to go so here we have doing lighting up the fire big up to mr johnson Dwayne. i'm at his house doing my barbecue 
Do you remember my jerk chicken from last night where I get ready? Look at it now. Let's see how it look. Alright. Looking all set and ugly. <laughs> it's gonna taste so good. Yeah man, the charcoal coming along, so we're gonna give it some time. Right now, take a side scene outside, see what's going on. I'll probably test out the pool later on, but I don't know for sure yet. Right now it's sunny. You know? Yeah. So we're just waiting on the charcoal to come up to like 350. Right now, as you can see, it has like 275. So it's a waiting game. Yep. And it's ready. Yeah, man. It's ready to start dropping my chicken on. So I go ahead and put the chicken them wide. You don't want to put them right in the heat at the time, at this time. You want to, you know, put them wide from the fire heat so, you know, they take time and get some heat and heat run through them before you put the fire to burn them up. And of course, I put my fish on the far side because the fish is supposed to cook slowly. Yeah. And with this now, you're going to always check. Don't forget to, when you're doing things like this and fire where the fire can blow up big and burn up your stuff. You want to check them as much time as possible you can. Turn them as much time as possible as you can. You know, just to grade it, just to make it get the right amount of heat and the right amount of crispy burn look that you want it to have. You know what I mean? In the meantime, man, a good vibes, you know. So I'm there right now, I go and chill and listen to to bad song, you know. Big up Silk Bass. They are going to listen to Silk Bass and Joshi and I go on all our vibes. Yeah, man. But you don't know how chicken them there. Coming along. Every six, seven minutes I check on my chicken. It's because I want them to come out perfect. I'm going to spike some oil in my fish, in the file paper with the fish because you don't know you want eat to go right through. But look for my chicken, guys. Mm hmm. Coming along. As I say, you don't want it burn up, you want it cook slowly. Yeah. And I think it is doing wonderful. Yes, guys. Jerk chicken. Kenny Good Vibes TV. Yeah, man. I didn't have any red stripe beer to pour on this today, but yeah. Chicken them come to perfection. They finish. And this is how my chicken turn out. You know, I'm going to give the fish some more time, but for right now, chicken them, I'm not going to let them burn, so look at that. Look how beautiful my chicken turned out, guys. Mm, if you could smell this, smell so, woo. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and take these inside. And, you know, ladies are inside preparing their little um, potato salad and their little cornbread and stuff like that so there's a whole lot of stuff going on today for the barbecue you know we have delta walking up and down the house but yeah let's test out the chicken i want to make sure it do good you know look at that no blood nothing like Ooh, your man say fish spike some oil in there because you want to eat to penetrate right through the file paper i'm gonna go ahead and put that right in the last minute i put that right in the fire eat and boil a little oil just to check all it look and as you can see it's ready so let's go inside let's see what they're doing so we got cornbread over here yeah cornbread ready you know what i mean and we got a whole lot of stuff we got corn we got baked beans and bacon you know we got corn on the cube and corn off the cube you know what i mean Right here, Miss Ellis. Big up, Miss Ellis. Right here, Miss Ellis is making some peach cobbler. I've never had that before. I've never made that before. But obviously, it's peach slices in, you know, like some gravy stuff she has made from some seasoning. You know, and she put like a flour wrap in the bottom and pour it on there. And then she put one on top. And, you know, just sizing up that to the pan. And that's her peach cobbler that's gonna go in the oven for like 35 minutes and after 35 minutes I really wanted to see what that turned out to be but this is it peach cobbler guys and it tastes good too I've never had it before I tried it it was okay it was you know peachy 
yeah so i want to big up to miss ellis to show me how to make a peach cobbler that one is new to the good vibes tv yeah man peach cobbler so it's time to eat you don't know so everybody i reach for them food i personally interested in the fish you know look at this i'm a fish person i love fish so after sharing out my food i get wild into the fish look at that that's so meaty and ooh. yeah man could never be better yeah man we have a bean and we have a jerk chicken and we have a corn bread and you know corn and the cubes and corn off the cubes and bacon baked bean and potato salad and you know what I mean? Yeah, man. Yes, guys. So you don't know. Barbecue in session. Look at that. Nice, chunky. I got some pickle here. My style of pickle just with onion and carrot and cucumber I made. Yeah. That always go good with anything I'm eating. Look at my fish. I love this fish so much. And everybody love it too. Because everybody have a little piece. So you want to say? big up everything good guys this food is whopping yeah man you, you know subscribe to the channel yet what are you wait man subscribe i'm out